top stories on Al Jazeera. Iran's president has inaugurated the country's first nuclear fuel production plant and says it also has 7,000 uranium enrichment centrifuges. Ahmed Ahmadinejad also said that Iran was willing to engage with the U.S. based on respect. Polls have closed in Indonesia's parliamentary elections. Early indications show President Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono is in the lead but may need coalition partners to push forward economic reforms. Algerians are going to the polls in an election. The current president, Abdelaziz Bouteflika, is widely expected to win. It would be his third five-year term, made possible by a controversial constitutional amendment. Predicting fraud, opposition parties have called on Algerians to boycott the vote. Mohamed Val reports. That's your sport, Jay. Busy time for South Africa cricket-wise. Any significance in that? Certainly is. Well, I mean, they've got the IPL coming up. They've got that tournament that Andy was referring to. And they've got the Champions Trophy later on in September. And I guess it's all great preparation for the big one, the, the Football World Cup next year. And they're proving that, you know, African nations can hold successful sporting events. Absolutely. Rahul, thanks. And thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. Hello again. We're expecting yet more thunderstorms in the States. It's all thanks to this weather feature here. It's working its way eastwards, giving some thunder and lightning, some hail, and maybe a few tornadoes as well. Behind it is drying up, brightening up, but it won't be as hot here, so Dallas no higher than around 24 degrees. For the western parts, here it's been very wet over the last couple of weeks, so it won't be a surprise then that on Friday it's also looking wet once more. Further south, though, and here for most of us, it will be fine and settled. Eventually, though, as you head through Panama, we do see the showers begin to pop up and they will be banding together to give some of us rather a wet day altogether. Over to Europe, also pretty wet for some of us here as well. We've got another weather feature with us at the moment that's in the west and that's going to be giving some more very heavy downpours as we head through Friday. The Mediterranean, that's been wet too. Looks like some more sharp showers are with us here, particularly in the southern parts of Italy. But as you head further north, for some of us in Germany, it should be fine and settled and also rather warm as well. For the northern parts of Africa, it's been soggy here too, mostly for parts of Algeria and Tunisia. That seems to be moving out the way, but only to be replaced by a little bit more in the way of wet weather that's edging into Morocco there. So it looks like Rabat will be a little bit cooler as we head into Friday, and it will also be turning rather grey with a few showers.